Welcome back future medicos. In this video, we are going to look at the fee structure of another medical college that comes under deemed universities category. In this video, I'm going to show you the seat matrix. I'm going to show you where you should apply. What is the fee structure for general category? What is the fee structure for NRI category? What was the cutoff in 2023 for general category and NRI category? Come, let's go into the video. In this video, I will be covering Amrita School of Medicine, Faridabad, which is affiliated to Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitam University, which is a deemed to be university, which is based in Kwamthur in Tamil Nadu. Now, I have already done a video on Amrita Kochi. In case if you are interested, I will provide a link to that video in the description. You can go and check. In this video, we will focus on Amrita Faridabad. Amrita Faridabad is a fairly new medical college, just started admitting MBBS students from last year. So this is going to be the second batch of MBBS students that's going to be admitted in 2024-25. Now, just a disclaimer, all the information I'm showing you are displayed in the college website as well as MCC, Medical Counseling Committee website. So in case if you are interested, you can go and double check the information in those websites. And whatever the information I'm showing in this video is only for your advanced planning. Because these details or the fee structure or the seat matrix might change subsequently, which I may or may not update. So please use this information only for advanced planning. Any decisions should be made, say for example, if you want to do choice filling for this college, you should do only after confirming all the details at the official websites. So moving on, what is the fee structure for 2024-25? Let's look at, first of all, the number of seats. The total MBBS seats available in Amrita Faridabad is 150. So totally we have 150 seats, out of which roughly general category will be 127 and NRI category will be 23 or 22 seats, depending on the year. It will be either 22 or 23 and this will be either 127 or 128. Now the general category is also sometimes known as management quota. Sometimes is also known as deemed quota. Sometimes is also known as paid seats quota. So it doesn't matter. This is one category and there is a fee structure, right? That's all. Now what is the fee structure for this category? That is 85% of the seats. What is the fee structure? The annual fees is going to be 25 lakhs. Okay, this is a huge increase from last year. Last year, the fee structure was only 19 lakhs. So 25 lakhs is the fee structure this year. And there is an other fees which will be collected in the first year, which is 94,800. Let's say like 1 lakh round it off. And then annual hostel and mess fees is about 1.5 lakhs. So total cost at the time of admission is going to be like 25, 26, 27.5 lakhs is what you will be spending in the first year. Now, please remember Amrita collects 25 lakhs in five installments. So five into 25, it's 1.25 crore is the total cost. So they are dividing that into five installments. So the total cost you will be paying in Amrita Faridabad towards the tuition fees is going to be 1.25 crores. Now, other fees, it varies from second year onwards, but roughly you can keep it as 1 lakh. So that's going to be another 5 lakhs. So 1.25 crores plus 5, 1.3 crores. And then you add these 1.5 lakhs into 5, so 7.5 lakhs. So we are talking somewhere close to 1.4 crores to complete MBBS under general category in this particular medical college. Now, moving on to NRI category. NRI category, also there is an increase in the annual fees this year. Last year, I think is $45,000. Now, it, they have increased to $50,000. So, $50,000 into 5. So, total cost towards tuition fee is going to be $250,000. US Then, you also have to pay the other fees. This is applicable for NRI category also. 94,800 rupees you need to pay. Then the hostel and mess for NRI students is $2,000 per year. So roughly you can see that you will be paying $52,000 plus 1 lakh. If you look at the cost in terms of Indian rupees, I just checked 1 US dollar is equivalent to roughly 83.17 Indian rupee. 
So convert that for 260,000, right? 50,000 plus 2,000, uh, 260,000 US dollars, which comes to about 2.16 crores as of today. And add that five, roughly four or five lakhs here. So we are talking about 2.2 crores to complete MBBS under NRA category in this college. So 1.4 crores for general category, 2.2 crores for NRA category. That's the total expected cost. Of course, you may have your own expenses, personal expenses that you need to take into account. And where you should apply in case if you are interested in this medical college, the only place where you can get a seat in this medical college is through Medical Counseling Committee or MCC for short. So you can go to mcc.nic.in. That is the website which conducts All India Counseling. So this deemed university comes under All India Counseling. All the 150 seats will be available only under the All India Counseling. And for these 150 seats, there is no restriction in terms of domicile. There is no restriction in terms of community. There is no minority reservations. So it's open for everyone. So the only difference general category, anybody can apply. NRA category, only eligible NRA, NRA sponsored or OCA candidates can apply. So that's the only difference. Other than that, there is no big restrictions in terms of applying to this college. Now let's look at what is the closing rank last year. Last year for the general category, in round one, it closed at around 2 lakh All India rank. Round two, it went up to 1 lakh 18,000 All India rank. Round three, it slightly came down to 1 lakh 57,000 All India rank. And in the stay round, it jumped up again to around 98,000 All India rank. So as you can see, the first round is always better in case if you are targeting some colleges under deemed university. Right? You can see that round one, Candidate with 200,000 is able to get, but when it comes to the later rounds, right, even candidate with 100,000 is not able to get into this college. So if you are really interested, just go in the round one. If you want to know what is your possibility of getting into this college, probably wait for NEAT results. And once the NEAT results are out, compare your All India rank with these ranks. That would be a better comparison because the NEET score itself may not be meaningful comparison because assuming that this year the, the uh, scores are getting inflated, so I don't think these scores may be relevant anymore, but the ranks certainly will be relevant. Looking at the last year closing score, round 1, it was 421 marks, round 2, 491, round 3, 455, stay around 511. I don't expect the cutoff to increase this year in terms of the All India rank, probably the cutoff may come down slightly. So anyone, if you are in the 200,000 rank somewhere around there, you may be confident to get a seat because the fees has been increased from 19 lakhs. Now it has increased to 25 lakhs. So it may become slightly less attractive for many of the candidates. So I don't expect the cutoff to increase too much in terms of All India rank. Need score, it's very difficult to predict. Maybe I still believe somewhere between 450 to 500 could be a safe score. Now let's also look at the closing rank for NRI category. Now NRI category in all the rounds, the seats did not get filled up. Basically, there are not enough candidates. They had 23 seats and there were not even 23 candidates asking for this college. So looking at the fees, 260,000 US dollars this year, I don't think Again, there is not going to be a demand for NRA seats. So let's see uh, what happened. Of course, um, in terms of closing rank, it was 860,000. Of course, if there is a candidate with 10 lakh asked for this college, he would also got the seat. It's just that the last candidate is 860,000, right? Doesn't mean that's the cutoff, that's closing. No, you can still have a lot of candidates. Now let's look at the numbers itself. Like for example, they had totally 23 NRA seats but only four candidates asked for this college in round one. Okay, only four candidates. Then out of the four candidates who got the allotment, only three joined, right? That leaves in round two, 20 seats are vacant. And once again, only four candidates asked for the 20 seats, only four candidates. They got the allotment. And again, out of the four, only three joined. So in the first round and second round, only six candidates have joined, even though there are 23 seats available. Now in the third round, 
17 seats were available that were offered under NRI, but only two candidates showed interest. So what happens in round three? The remaining 15 seats. So out of the 17 seats, first they look at NRIs. If there are NRIs asking for these seats, it will be given. Two candidates asked, they were given the seat and the remaining 15 seats were converted to general category. So even though I told you 127 is the general category, but you could see that 15 seats were added to the general category. That's why round three, probably the cutoff came down from 117, it came down because there are additional seats. Okay, you could see that from round two, there was a slight drop from 491 marks to 455 because additional seats were available because of the conversion from NRI. So those 15 seats were converted to general category and in stray round, the fourth round, one seat was offered under NRI category, but no one was interested. So that one seat was also converted to the general category. Basically, if you are interested in NRI category in this college, no need to worry, a pass mark will get you a seat. So 166, 166, 190. But even if there is a candidate with 130, 140, they would have got a seat. So that's the information I wanted to share with you. If you have any questions related to this, please leave your queries in the comments below. Will you be interested in this college? Have you seen this medical college? How do you see the infrastructure? If you have any feedback about the college, if you are really interested, tell me why you are interested in this medical college in the comments below so that all of us can understand about this college much better. Thank you. Bye-bye.